Absolutely. And we went to uh, St. Thomas. Me, Megan, Angela, Katie, and Alex all went uh, to St. Thomas Aquinas aftercare program, and it was a phenomenal experience for all of us. Um, we helped them with their, their homework at the beginning, and then at the end uh, we would play for about an hour or so and really just be able to mentor those kids and get on a personal level with them. And uh, we'll have the girls tell about their experiences here in a few moments. Stephen, I heard you were doing some ser oh. service as well. Yeah, that man. does sound fun. I was actually at uh, St. Francis, and um, I was actually a little different, a little less out there. We uh, sat down at a table, tutored like three or four students. I had a pretty good time. I got to know my kids very well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey guys, we're here with Alex and Megan, and uh, they're going to tell us about their most memorable experiences uh, this semester at service. Uh, Megan, what was your most memorable experience this semester at the gorgeous St. Thomas Aquinas Elementary School? <laughs> well, one of my favorite parts was I've done service before where I just teach kids, and it was nice to be able to have aftercare program and actually play with them, play games with them, and get a chance to know them on a more personal level besides from just sitting down and doing homework all the time with them. That's pretty great. Yeah. That's pretty great, Megan. Thank you. I'm glad you had a great experience. I had this a semester. great time. Alex, what about you, young lady? Was um, your experience wonderful? It was really good. I actually agree with Megan. Um, it was really nice, like going, to, like taking a break from school and going to help out kids, like who needed homework, and just being able to play with them and like kind of give them a break from like you know a school you know right. environment. And you know we got to like get to know each other like as group volunteers. So it was a really good experience, especially since I've never done service before. So awesome, awesome. <clears throat> uh, hi, I'm Steve. I'm here with Katie and Angela, and uh, we'll talk a little more about service. Um, Angela, did you feel that it was easy to relate to your kids on a personal level? Um, yes, I did. Um, they were very accepting and always really happy when we walked in the doors, and they always like, came up and gave us hugs. So I found that very easy to be able to talk to them and hang out with them, and I was actually like made up a dance with all these little girls and stuff to whip my hair back and forth. And <laughs> I just, it was a lot of fun playing with them and it's not that hard to play with kids. <laughs> I didn't think so. Katie and you? Um, I found it kind of difficult at first because I didn't really know what to expect um, and the kids seemed kind of, I don't know, the kids that I tried to work with in the very beginning seemed kind of standoffish. I'd ask them, be like, can I help you with your homework? And they would just look at me and they'd look at each other and they'd laugh. Like, I don't know what to do. But as the weeks went on, I learned how to communicate with them and how to connect with them. And I actually ended up, um, like, playing. We played games and stuff with them. So, okay. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it. Not Hi, guys. Not Thank you for viewing our video. We will be now live from O'Malley Center, Room 25. We, we will be presenting on... Perception, Culture, and Emotion. When you worry, you make it double, don't worry. Be happy.